Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're having a great morning, afternoon, or evening whenever you are choosing to watch my video. We are back in the garage today to do a few things to the Silverado. One of, one of which being is it's going to be finally getting a set of rear shocks and we're also going to be adding in a small safety feature in order to make things a little bit quicker in case of an emergency. So grab your favorite snack, a drink if you like, and let's get to work. So today is our first video under our new moniker of the Bearded Tortilla. Quick explanation is I wanted a better brand for the YouTube channel and for myself and the old name just really wasn't catchy enough for me, so I realized just looking in the mirror one day that I am beautifully blessed with a very gracious beard that actually a lot of people compliment me on. And uh, also, because of my uh, heritage, I have a little bit of skin pigmentation that awfully looks like one of my favorite, favorite Mexican pastries, if you will, uh, a flour tortilla. So, that is me. Anyway, moving on from that, let's get into what we're doing today. So if you've been subscribed for any amount of time, or if you've just watched the previous videos on my 2015 Chevy Silverado that we named Tony Stock, the truck, a, I think almost two years ago now, got a set of King coil 2.5 coilovers in the front end when we leveled it, and it's adjusted to about two and a quarter inches over stock. So far, the, the Kings have performed phenomenally and have never missed a beat. However, we never did anything to the rear end of this truck, and I mean nothing. The rear end of this truck is still stock and is even a little bit rusty, as a matter of fact. It's got a little bit of surface rust, but nothing crazy or deep. And we're gonna change some of that today. Not a lot of it, but just some of it. Mainly in way of the shocks. So, as far as I know, these are the factory 2015 installed from GM shocks. And we are finally going to be replacing those today. So as you can see, we are actually changing things up and unfortunately not going to be matching the front kings on the truck and we are instead going to be installing a set of 2.0 Fox shocks that I got from AccuTune Off-Road. It's the same place that we got the kings set up. I had a really good time there, so I always recommend any of you guys to fill your off-road suspension needs to hit them up and hopefully they can help you out. In the box for our Fox 2.0 shocks, obviously comes the shock. Some directions, which I don't really know what these are. I, 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 don't, I can't read. And of course, the highest of quality adhesive logo of the beautiful box. Today we're also gonna be installing a fire extinguisher quick disconnect mount. I got this unit off of Amazon for $25. You can also get them from places like Poly for Performance and their places online. They're all pretty much the same. I would recommend the aluminum one over the plastic ones that I've seen. The only thing to keep in mind about this mount that I got from Amazon would be that it does not come with hardware. I'll, I will have this link in the description below, but if you do decide to get this one, you will have to go out and get some countersunk hardware. Luckily, I had some just in my free stock laying around in the shop. It also comes with varying size hose clamps so that you can attach a varying amount or varying sizes of fire extinguishers to the mount. And always with my videos, I like to try and show how just about anyone can do the modifications that I'm doing with a simple amount of tools or at least the minimal amount of tools that you don't have to be a mess shop or spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars taking your vehicle to a shop to, to do simple installations like this. So to install our shocks, I have decided to go with a half inch and a three eighths ratchet only because my two socket sizes are bearing as far as the drivers. I have two 13, 13 16 wrenches right here. I have one that's standard and one's ratcheting. Depending on how tight the space is, it'll obviously be easier to do with the ratcheting wrench. I do have one 21 millimeter deep socket and I also have a 21 millimeter shallow socket. And if we need to, I know I have a 13 16 3 8 socket in my toolbox. We also have this sitting here just in case we need it. This is one of those ratchet straps that ratchets to itself so you don't have any hooks or anything. 
This has come in handy for me before when needing to compress down the shock in order to get it into the eyelets because when we do it like this, the vehicle is sitting on the ground under its own weight. So sometimes the shock wants to extend past the mount. So I'll show you how that trick is if we end up needing it. And as far as our fire extinguisher mount, I already showed you guys the hardware and what it comes with. I'll be showing you in just a bit where I want to install this and it, we may have to make a back bracket for it which will be pretty fun to get to make something again. So let's do the shocks first and then we will get to our mount. Taking off your rear shocks is obviously very simple. We're going to be removing our lower bolt and our upper bolt, slide the old shock out, put the new one in. The other cool part about this video is this is my first video utilizing my new underhood Milwaukee light, and it's obviously giving a really good light output, um, which is kind of a big thing for me every time I've been doing YouTube videos and watching my older stuff, I really don't like when some of my stuff has been really dark. So I'm actually very excited for this, and right now it looks great. So, all right, let's get to work, guys. So that takes care of our rear shocks. And I gotta say, they came out looking great, of course. So with that, now we're gonna go ahead and get in the back door here. And we're gonna start prepping to install our fire extinguisher somewhere in this general vicinity. Alright ladies and gentlemen, 
So as you saw, we just got it marked, had the misses double check our placement for us. So we're gonna be mounting it right here to the plastic under storage bin. And these GM factory under storage bins are pretty heavy duty plastic. This isn't really flimsy or anything. So I'm not really worried about it deforming or anything. I mean, it's, it is a fire extinguisher, so it does have some weight. However, I don't think it's really gonna hurt this. I'm mounting it pretty close to pretty much just laying on the floor. So we're gonna go ahead and move some of my stuff. I already got the holes marked and we're gonna get this fire extinguisher mounted. Alright, so that's going to do it for today's video guys, please, please give this video a like and head over to the channel and tap the subscribe button, it means a lot to me. You can find me at the Bearded Tortilla on Instagram, TikTok, and on YouTube. I'll see you guys next time.